What you are about to see is the true story of an amazing Jamaican woman told in her own words. Come with us on a journey from our time to hers. Make me hold you. Long time, y'all, I'll never see you. Come make we walk and talk. This long time, y'all, I'll never see you. Come make we walk and talk. Mary Seacole, I wonder what she was really like. There's somebody here. You are here and apparently so am I. But I don't know how I got here. Dressed like that, I'm surprised you got here at all. Wonder they didn't arrest you for indecent exposure. Where's your carriage? My carriage? Well, you didn't walk the streets of Kingston. <laughs> the donkey carts would have left splashes on your lower extremities. I'm so confused. I don't know where I am. You are in the home of Mrs. Mary Seacole, East Street, Kingston, Jamaica. What East Street? This is where the National Library is, or should be. I guess I'm talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense, huh? I've learned in my lifetime not to use that word too loosely. We have come together because nothing happens without a purpose. I was wishing I could meet Mary Seacole. I mean you, ma'am. Well? Here I am, and there you are. Would you like a cup of tea? They still remember me in the 21st century. Well, I want to know more. Well, let's start at the beginning. I was born right here in Kingston, Jamaica. When was that, ma'am? Let's just say the 19th century and I were young together. That would be the early 1800s. Yes, in the days of slavery. That's 200 years ago. My grandmother was a slave. My mother was able to gain her freedom. My father was a British soldier. So you were born free, ma'am. My mother, like so many free black women, operated a boarding house right here on East Street. But she was also a doctress. What is a doctress? A woman who cares and cures the sick. Trained at that great university, experience. So she nursed the British officers at Up Park Camp and their wives. And you followed in her footsteps? In oh, indeed I did. And cured my dog of any ailment prevalent in Jamaica. As I grew, I helped my mother to nurse invalids and I listened to their stories of, of travel in foreign lands. I, I, I traced their journeys on an old map and made up my mind that I too would travel. And you did? Indeed I did. While I was still young, I traveled to London with relatives. But on the return voyage, a fire broke out in the hold of the ship. You must have been frightened. We all were. Some of the passengers were on deck, praying to the Lord to save them. Well, I was always a practical person. I stayed in the kitchen. But why? I promised to pay the cook two pounds if he strapped me to a wooden chicken coop. So if we sank, I would float safely. <laughs> I'd have been terrified. Fire is a terrifying thing, child. I discovered that in the, in the great fire in Kingston in 1843. My entire house burnt almost to the ground. And I almost with it. 